Okay, so it's going to be a video of maybe up to 10 minutes long, and it's going to have like all you need to know for your calculator, pretty much an idea of. So the first thing we're going to do is learn how to clear the calculator. So we go to our menu, and you can click along with me, and you go system, and F5 is reset, and F2 is main memories, and F1 is reset the main memories. So that you need to do at the start of any exercise, any um, exam, and it will put it back to radians normally. So if we go into run and we go shift setup, you can see here that the angle has gone back to radians. So if you were doing trig or something, um, you might want to put it back into degrees. Okay, we're not actually doing that for calculus, but that's just a trick with your calculator that you need to know about. Um, exit button's a good button. Now, since we're actually in run, we're going to go options, and we're going to go calc. And can you see there, there's the integration sign, and there's the d squared by dx squared, so that's double deriving, and that's deriving. So if you wanted to know, for example, um, let's say that the f of x equaled x squared, so we'd put x squared in there, and we'd want to know the gradient at the point 1, for example, the gradient is 2. Okay? You can check that in your head. If you got dx squared, what would it derive to? 2x. And 2 times 1 is? 2. Okay, so that's a bit of a trick. Okay, so you went... If you're here, you go options, and you go calc, and then it's the ddx. Is there? And there's also an integration one as well. Okay, so that's quite handy. Now, I'm going to show you graphing. So we go to our grapher. And for example, if we went x squared, whoop, delete, delete, x squared plus x plus 1, what is that going to look like? Oh, my... Um, Screen's a bit sensitive. There we go. Execute to draw. Now, shift G solve is really good. So you go shift and you go G solve. I can find my minimum. So what would the gradient at that point be? Zero. Zero. Thank you. Okay, so um, if I go exit, go back here. If I made this graph upside down, so... Maybe I, maybe I can't. Maybe I just have to delete and go minus x squared plus x, something like that. Now I've got it upside down. I can go shift g solve. I can't get a minimum, but I can get a max. I can go, uh, sorry, shift g solve. And I can find my y-intercept. I don't actually like that y-intercept, so I'm going to add. I'm going to add 2 so that I get a different y-intercept. Okay, so shift, g, solve, root. So I've got the two places that... So this button here goes left and right. Shift, G solve, Y intercept. Okay. Shift, G solve. You can go across as well. So you can actually do an integration. You can do a Y calc or an X calc. So if I do a Y calc, I say, well, if X is 8, what is Y? And it will tell me. It will only tell me if it's in the actual 
picture. So what I mean by that is if I execute, um, if I need to go shift view window, and here's the, the lowest x value, I'm going to go negative 10, the highest x value 10, and then my y max I'll leave as 3, but my y minimum I'll go negative 100 just for the sake of it. So now when I draw it, I'm like that. So if I go shift, G solve, and do my Y calc again, I can now, I should be able to enter my 8, and it should be on there. Yeah. So it physically has to be on the graph for it to give you the answer. Okay. Okay. Um, so now what I'm going to show you is a bit of a trick, okay? So if you go into stats, if I had um, 0, 1, and 2, so I've got three points. Now I'm going to imagine that the equation is x squared plus 5, okay? So what if I've got x squared plus 5, 0 would become 5. x squared plus 5, that would become 6. And 2 to the 4 plus 5 is 9. So I've got three points and I know the equation. I'm going to graph here. Okay, I can just see that it's scatter list 1, list 2. So I'm going to graph it. And then I'm going to push calc. And I'm going to push, I know the fact that it's actually a quadratic. And it's come up with the x squared plus 0x plus c. So that's a way of, if you've got points, you can find out the equation of a graph. We did that in graphs. Okay? Now we're going to do solver. So solver, if we go to equation, you've got simultaneous equations where you can have two unknowns or three unknowns or four unknowns uh, you've got polynomial degree two but also you've actually got polynomial degree three which could be handy and you've also got your solver so solver you can put anything in you can go x plus 3 shift equals x squared minus 8, for example. And I'm going to remember that one. x plus 3 equals x squared minus 8, because I want to show you that graphically as well. So we're going to execute. Now, the left and the right don't equal the same thing. I'm going to execute again and the left and the right do equal the same thing. So I've got x equals 3.85. However, how many answers should there be? Because if we go to our graph, back to here, to show that graphically, I would have x plus 3, And then here, I'd have x squared minus 8. And shift view window. I, I'm just going to actually push standard for a minute and see what it looks like. Oh, that's quite cool. And then I'm going to go g solve. And I'm actually going to go intersection. So I've got one value of x where it's negative 2.85 and then the next value of x is six uh, is 3.85 so when I was in solver I got the 3.85 for my value of x but I did not get the other one so you've got to watch solver if there's more than one answer okay